Hey guys, Steve Houston, welcome to my video. And again, we are in the final stages of our 24 day July 2024 commitment YouTube challenge. One video every day, Monday through Friday, weekends off for the month of July 2024. So in preparation for the next video that I'm going to be releasing tomorrow, God willing, which is all about leads, leads explained. We've talked about leads so many times that I feel like everybody should be clear on them, but I keep reading comments and conversations over the internet about they scam me and they, they lied, and they're making profits, and they're stealing people's money and all that stuff. A lot of that stuff can be explained if, if, first of all, these agents were to actually investigate get a written document and find out what the leads they're buying are, where they were sourced. And so I'm going to answer all this stuff tomorrow. So make sure you haven't already done so, that you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so when the video comes out, somewhere around 7 or 8 o'clock Eastern time, you'll be able to jump in there and watch that video. And maybe I'm, ho I'm hoping I'm able to answer some of your questions in that video. So again, um, for the month of July, I just want to take a few minutes to discuss what's coming up so you're prepared. So something I want to discuss tonight with you is something that I've kept in front of me really all my life, which is the word more. And over the last several months, this has become more and more important to me, where I've kind of taken it to the next level of what that really means to me personally, and I wanted to share that with you. When winners are pushed, the winds are blowing against their business and putting at risk the very reason for doing this business, they expand. So that's my addition to the word more. Expand, never contract. They never contract. They look to ways to expand their business in times of challenges. They never, winners they always expand. They never contract. And when we get more, here's how I want you to write this down. Outflow, it creates inflow that creates cash flow. So outflow, inflow, cash flow. Okay, so in that, in everything that you do, in your business. It could be applied to leads. It could be applied to networking. It could be applied to having more conversations, booking more appointments. Remember, when you're pushed and, you're, and your resolve is being challenged and your why is coming into focus or you're losing a clear reason why you're in this business, that's the time to expand, never contract. And it's the time to do more outflow to get more inflow to increase your cash flow. So maybe that's buying more leads. Maybe it's talking to more referrals. Maybe it's asking for more referrals, more importantly. Maybe it's knocking on some doors. Whatever it takes, maybe calling your warm market. Maybe asking for referrals from previous customers. How about doing annual reviews? When you're pushed, you've got to create more outflow, create more inflow to increase your cash flow. Expand, never contract. You must focus, I believe, on what you want to achieve. That's what helps me. That always seems to require me to slow down a little bit. What do you want your life to look like by the end of 2024? It's July. It's going to be August next week. You still have time to make a year in five months. Okay, so what do you want your life to look like or your business to look like at the end of this year, right? And what steps that you can control or you control that can make that happen? What are these high payoff activities that you can do? And, you know, is it leads? You know, is it maybe expand your lead budget? What will, you, what will it take to get you there and where you want to be in that next five or six months, which is the end of 2024, believe it or not? What are the activities that's going to produce those results? So I've rattled off four or five things there, bullet points that you can ask yourself on how I can get myself to where I wanted to be in January of this year, I'm, I'm behind or I'm totally off course. I had lost hope of getting there. You can still make it. We all have five months here. And if you just focus on those, th those five areas that you can control with that expand mentality, how much more outflow can I do to create more inflow? People are coming back at me wanting appointments, wanting to do a policy review, you know, wanting to get a quote. That's going to create more cash flow and get you where you need to be by the end of 2024. You know, many times if you're not getting where you want to go, there's a serious mismatch between your work priorities and your time allocations. I find this to be the case a lot with myself 
and with my agents, right? You're not congruent with your goals. You're, you, you have this high bar you want to hit between now and the end of the month, or I'm sorry, but between now and the end of the year, but your time that you're allocating to that place you want to be by the end of 2024 is not congruent with the, what it's going to take to get you there, right? I want to set you up for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to release the Leads Explained video. Really going to take a deep dive in what leads are, what closing ratios are with certain types of leads, what questions that you should be asking if you're buying leads from the lead company, from your coach, mentor, IMO, whatever it is. So be on the lookout for that. And if I'm lucky, uh, uh, God willing, I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. You know why kids love athletes? I don't know, because they screw lingerie models. That's why we love athletes. Kids love athletes because they follow their dreams. Well, I can't dunk. No, but you can cook. What are you talking about? Your resume says that you minored in French culinary arts. Most students there were going to fire at KFC, but you bus tables at the old Picador to support yourself. And then you get out of college. And you come and you work here. How much did they first pay you to give up on your dreams? 27 grand a year. And when were you going to stop and come back and do what makes you happy?